Hi guys, it's Kelly Latavola here and I am back with another What Would a Kelly Make? And today we're going to be talking about watercolor stamping. Specifically, we're going to be using distress inks. This works because distress inks uh, react with water. So we're going to be using Birch Press watercolor water flowers. In the technique video, we're just going to be using the stamps. In the full card video, we're going to be using the stamps and the dies to make a completed card. So I'm working on Canson watercolor paper and I'm just going to pick out a couple of different distress inks. Um, I like brighter colors, but this will work with any of them because all of them react with ink. First thing that you wanna do is you want to, anytime you're doing watercolor, you wanna tape your um, watercolor paper down to some type of sturdy surface. I just use the back of the cardboard for my watercolor paper and that works for me. Um, so you can see on the bottom there, I've been doing some some practicing of the technique that I wanna show you, but before we get into that, I wanted to show you a couple of different looks. So if you stamp with distress inks, um, you don't get great even coverage. Distress inks have a lot of wonderful properties. Stamping with them is not something that I do often because I don't really like the way um, that it looks because it isn't solid, it is kind of uneven. But like most things with distress inks, when you add a little bit of water, uh, it's magical. So I'm just going to do one spray of water right onto my stamp before I stamp it. And then when I put it down, it's more vibrant, but it's also more salad. That's just one spray. Um, this is not a new technique. I think the first person I saw do this was Jennifer McGuire, but it's kind of like an oldie but a goodie. And I feel like I kind of forgot about it. So then for this one, um, I'm going to spray it a couple of times. I think I sprayed it three times. With three times, you can really see the water um, kind of sitting on the surface. It's moving around a lot. And this gives um, a less detailed, more watercolor look with the three sprays. And just give me a second because I'll zoom in so you can see it. I have... Um, I really like watercolor flowers and a lot of times they are very detailed and sometimes for a background I don't want something so detailed and that's kind of what I was going for with these stamps. They're already watercolor um, wildflowers so they already have that feel which I really love and then this is just something um, that you can kind of give yourself like a little extra oomph in your background um, or it could be your focal point, whichever. Uh, I think they're really pretty just just as they are. So anyway, you can see I'm using uh, Picked Raspberry with this same stamp that I just showed you before. I sprayed it, I think, about four times, and now I'm going to stamp it, and then I'm going to stamp it again. So second generation stamping, this is going to be much looser, much softer, um, but still a really cool look, and it just depends on what you're going for. I mean, you can do this with that. I mean, with anything, you don't have to have any fancy supplies. It's it's just water and distressing. Now this won't work with your pigment inks, anything, you know, that I've only ever done this with distress inks because they do work with water. So I stamped a uh, couple of other colors and now I'm going to move into the leaves. So I'm starting with mowed lawn. This is another thing that's super cool about spritzing it before you stamp it. I put down the mowed lawn, but then I'm also gonna put down the peacock feathers and if you tried to stamp this without spritzing it, you would have a clear line, um, a clear line of delineation where those two colors were. But by just spritzing it with water, you start to mix them actually on the stamp so that when you stamp them down, you get this really cool multicolored look. And that's awesome. So I was just kind of, you know, building up um, a little kind of like background bouquet. If you want something that's looser than what you stamped, that's totally okay. You can still get that look. It's not over. I just kind of take that water bottle and lightly spray until the colors have moved around as much as I want them to for my background. But be careful with this because when they start to run crazy, um, <laughs> you want to make sure that you hit it with your heat tool at the point that you want it to stop moving. And that, that will just keep those um, colors locked in where you want. So that's it for the technique video. If you would like to see See the full card. Um, there will be a, another video on the Simon Says Stamp blog as well as um, on their YouTube. So look for that. I hope to see you guys over there. Thank you for joining me. Bye.